Hi, my name is Harry Shum Jr. and today we have a very special read aloud that I'm super excited about. I partner with my friends over at The Conscious Kit and Wong Fu Productions to bring you a storytime playlist celebrating Asian American voices and experiences. Today, I'll be reading Grandpa Grumps by Katrina Moore and Cindy Yen. On Sunday, Daisy double checked her list. This will be the best week ever. Ye Ye was coming from China. She couldn't wait to meet him. He's here, he's here. She looked at him closely. She saw a head like her daddy's, but with less hair. A button nose, just like hers, and a jolly round belly, perfect for hugging. Hmm, <gasps> Ye Ye grumbled. Hmm, thought Daisy. Grandpa isn't jolly. Does he not like hugs? She tried something else. Would you like some tea? Ye Ye nodded. Hooray, tea party. Hmm. <gasps> Ye Ye grumbled. Grandpa's grumpy, thought Daisy. This will not do. I have to make him smile before he leaves. On Monday, Daisy popped into Ye Ye's room. I made hot cocoa with extra marshmallows. Ah, Ye Ye grumbled. On Tuesday, Daisy wanted Ye Ye to read to her. Ye Ye looked at her book. He looked at Daisy. Hmm, Ye Ye grumbled. He handed Daisy his newspaper instead. Do, said Ye Ye. Daisy looked at his newspaper. She looked at Ye Ye. Do some art? Daisy hoped he'd smile, but he didn't. Day and night, Daisy tried to make Ye Ye smile, and day and night, he didn't. By Friday, Ye Ye still hadn't smiled. This week wasn't turning out like Daisy hoped. Mama, why is Ye Ye such a grump? He shows love in other ways, said Mama. Hmm, thought Daisy. How could I show Ye Ye love in another way? Daisy had an idea. She looked at her drawing. She hoped he'd like it. Daisy peeked into Ye Ye's room. No grumbling, no Ye Ye. She was all alone. She left his surprise on the bed and meant to leave, but she didn't. What was this? Ye Ye's newspaper. He saved it. And what was this? A present. He shows love in other ways. Daisy had a new idea. On Saturday, Daisy waited for Ye Ye. Do? Asked Daisy. Ye Ye looked at the recipe card. He looked at Daisy. He did not grumble. Do together, said Ye Ye. Daisy smiled and nodded. Rice? Rice, Ye Ye said with a nod. Fun. Fun. Ye Ye pulled an egg from the refrigerator and said, Done. Done, Daisy repeated. Sizzle, toss, splash, Ye Ye's hands danced. Looks funny, said Daisy. Mmm, Ye Ye grumbled. She tasted something sweet, but not like a marshmallow, as well as something salty that sizzled and melted just like a snowflake. So many flavors, new, warm, exciting, were dancing around in her mouth. Chao fun, said Ye Ye. Yum, said Daisy. Her fingers wobbled. She picked up a lump and dropped it. Right on Ye Ye's slipper. He scrunched up his button nose. Oops, she waited for Ye Ye to grumble. But he didn't. Soon, Ye Ye was laughing so hard, his belly jiggled up and down. <laughs> Daisy thought he might pat her head, but he didn't. Instead, he opened his arms wide. It was the jolliest, most perfect hug. On Sunday, it was Ye Ye's turn to surprise Daisy. He hoped she'd smile, and she did. It was time to make a new list. I hope you enjoyed Grandpa Grumps. Now these stories not only celebrate Asian American voices, but also talk about how our community has faced anti-Asian racism. Now that is when someone is harmed or treated unfairly just for being Asian. Experiences of anti-Asian racism are often ignored, so it's important for us to talk about it and spread the word. 
So through these stories, we can be proud of who we are and celebrate not only for our differences, but also our similarities. All these books in this series are written by Asian authors because this is an important part of uplifting our community, our voices, and experiences. So please share this video with your family, your friends, and even your classmates. And be sure to check out the links in the description below on ways to support the cause. So thank you so much for watching and do not forget to follow and subscribe to The Conscious Kid on YouTube and join us for more read alouds just like this. All right, see you next time. Jai Jian.